the show, as much as anything, it's a generator of art in the Washington metropolitan area. In other words, once we announce that we're going to have Outermatic, it puts a lot of people in gear to create art. My work deals with the body in time and space, and that's, that's what dance does, and that's how I'm, I'm trained as a dancer. Um, and I know that it, it veers toward performance art, and people could say it's performance art, or you could say that it's theater or whatever, and, and those distinctions don't really bother me so much. In a juried show, the only way you'll get to see that you know, groundbreaking work is if that person, you know, twofold, that person has to choose to apply for the show, and then the juror, or the panel of jurors, has to accept it. So, you know, it can go either way. You know, a lot of jurors out there love to see this type of work they've never seen before, or, you know, the experimental type of work. But the other problem is with the jury show, it is a little off-putting for a lot of artists because it is an intimidating thing, so they may not even apply. Versus with a non-juried show, you know, you don't have those restrictions. It's a lot less scary, I think, from the artist's standpoint to put yourself out there because you're not going to have to go through that first level of judgment. So I put a tattoo into somebody, um, I consider it an indelible mark, not a permanent mark. We, there are no permanent human beings. It's, it's a measure of your mortality. It's a, it's a sigh, there you go. It's a sigh to the shortness of life that we mark ourselves. And that permanence is only as long as we're around. The image was constructed for one person and it will be with them until they are dust. I'm doing these other uh, investigations through music and, uh, and other visual arts to uh, combine that with some other scientific things using EKGs. Uh, because when you get conditioned by somebody, your heart starts uh, beating at the same time as theirs. So I started looking at my grandfather's EKGs and I'm basically trying to find the one that has the best price. So I, I don't limit myself to what could be called dance or could be called this or that. I just um, work with the body and the ideas that I have and see what comes out. So it's not just a matter of showing art that's already been created and is sitting in someone's basement. A lot of artists start creating art. Uh, they have a deadline, they have a goal. And um, so it, it really is a big engine within the uh, Washington arts community that, that drives the arts community. Um, so it's not there as a collector, just as a collector to collect and display the work, but really drives the creation of the work. Again, you know, they tend to use um, buildings that are kind of being built or or not quite fully occupied, which is kind of a, real, a neat thing in itself, that they kind of, like, it's as if they're squatting inside, like, some urban skeleton. It's pretty cool. 